Ladies and gentlemen, CD Project Red decide to pin on the gloves and hop back in the ring to punch their fans some more. The amount of disrespect from this company is just wild sometimes. So now, CD Project Red is gaslighting their fans or players of Cyberpunk 2077 by saying the launch wasn't that bad. Just let that sink in for a fucking minute. They think the launch wasn't that bad and that everyone was just getting on a hate train. Are they delusional? What is wrong with you over there in that office? I'm not the only one to think this, but this is probably the most disappointing game I have ever been hyped for and waited for and played in my life. The amount of like hype I've had for Cyberpunk 2077, building up to it since this reveal, it was just insane. It was the most hype I've ever been for a video game for some reason. I don't know why, I ain't gonna lie. But it was. And uh, when I got my hands on it and played it, I don't think I've ever been so disappointed in the entire time of the video game. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie. An illusion, but it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. And then, the moment I found out cops just spawned behind you instead of like chasing you or, you know, having AI pass to you and spawning like on the other street, you know, trying to hide it at least a little bit. No, they just spawn right behind you. And to this day, they still do that. The fact that your police AI just spawned behind the player is, is enough to just say the launch was bad. Like that, that right there is just so much of a flaw. Not counting all the bugs, glitches, dull storyline. Besides some aspects, really shitty side quests besides some of them, and you know, overall confusing direction with the game itself, like the story had a direction, whatever, but the game itself just seemed so lost at times, it did not, it did not, <laughs> the game was a mess man, I, I was so disappointed. I, I played it once last year for an hour and quit playing it because the memories were still fresh. And I haven't played it since, and I'm going to play it when Phantom Liberty comes out. But for now, for CD Projekt Red to say that the, and the launch wasn't that bad for Cyberpunk is just baffling. And baffling. Uh, like anyone who played this game on almost any platform besides a high-powered PC thought this game had major issues, and they were correct. Like your game got pulled from the PlayStation Store. What more? What more does that say? I mean. Hell, they, they released Black Tiger, but... But they're gonna pull your game, so yeah. There's something wrong there. I'm not sure why they came out and said this statement. Maybe it was for investors, maybe it was... Just to flex the fact that the game is doing well recently and getting decent reviews. Maybe it was just because they're fucking stupid, I don't know, but either way, they they said it, they said the launch wasn't that bad and fans were overreacting. I don't know, man. I think you revealing the game in like 2013 and building it up like the fucking be-all, end-all RPGs was a bit, you know, a bit on your end, but it is what it is, huh? Like, I played every bad game you can probably think of, Fallout 76, No Man's Sky, 
not Babylon's Fall. I didn't, I didn't stoop that low. Sorry, but Anthem, Mass Effect, Andromeda, Andromeda. But yeah, I, I play a lot of bad games, even bad good games. Even Black Tiger from PlayStation played that nightmare. And even that Popeye game on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I played them all. And I've still never been as disappointed as I was in Cyberpunk. The vice president of PR at CD Projekt has pretty much stated that, he, that they think uh, players were too harsh on Cyberpunk 2077 around the launch time, claiming that it became a cool thing not to like it. And that's just wrong. People didn't like it because it was a pile of dog shit. The game was overhyped, overpromised, and delivered a steaming fat pile of dog shit. And I'm not really sure why he's including this in the Phantom Liberty PR uh, tour or whatever. Because saying shit like this before the DLC comes out makes me not want to buy your damn expansion pack when you're saying shit like this after delivering the most steaming hot pile of crap of a video game that I have ever played at launch. Like, what are you gonna do if Phantom Liberty is a pile of crap? When you gonna come, you gonna come blame the fans again? You gonna blame us? What are you gonna do then? Is it our fault that you fucking released more dog shit? No, it's not. It's, it's your company's fault. To blame the fans, especially the ones that actually held on to the game and didn't refund it, is just wild. Such a disrespectful move from CG Project Red. Honestly, it, it made me hate him a little bit more than I already did from the whole launch thing. It, it just seems completely out of touch and disingenuous to the fans. No, don't get me wrong. I want the game to be successful. I want the game to be awesome. I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm very soured by that release. Yeah, granted, there are way worse games out there than Cyberpunk 2077. But th at the scale of this game launch, at the scale of the hype and the scale of the marketing and the scale of CG Project Red, it was it was a disappointment. Coming from the Witcher 3 masterpiece and going over the Cyberpunk was just it was it was like culture shock pretty much. But with video games, it was so fucking weird. It was so weird to downgrade that hard. All right, I think we're gonna end this one here. I don't have much more to say about it. That's nice. I'm still kind of salty about Cyberpunk's launch. It is what it is. I was so hyped for years on end, so I have a right to be disappointed. Hell, I bought the strategy guide, one of the last ones Prime ever made. Um, got the pops that I hate now. Uh, bought the deluxe edition, bought two copies for each of my consoles, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It really taught me that I shouldn't pre-order games. And I haven't since then, aside from Diablo. And uh, yeah, what do you think of Cyberpunk 2077 at its launch and now? Are, are you playing it? Have you revisited it since its launch? Let me know what you think of the game below. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, take care, guys. Oh. Is this game worth it? Eh. Does that answer your question?